Hey everyone, I'm Heba and welcome back. Picked up some new products from Chanel and I thought I might do a video of swatching them for you guys. I was planning on doing another video but lo and behold they were dropped at my doorstep so early and I thought okay, I'm dropping the video that I was going to do and I want to play with these new products by Chanel. So what I got are five new lipsticks from the Rouge Coco Bloom line. These are new. Still in their boxes. Haven't even opened them up yet. And two new shades of their powder blushes. Thought I might do the blushes first and I'll go ahead and do one on each side. And then we'll swatch the lipsticks. And usually if you're familiar with my channel, I'll have my makeup consultant with me when I do uh, lipstick swatches. But since I got these, I just want to play with them and get the video up for you guys. And I know that there are a lot of videos out there with these new lipsticks and new blushes, but I haven't seen any with my skin tone, my medium to tan skin tone. So let's go ahead and jump into the blushes and let's start with this one, 604 Bron Rouge. Now I love Chanel blushes and I found out that these are a new formula. I don't know how they will compare with the old formula. So I did bring a couple of my old blushes to kind of compare them. But this one, 604 Bron Rouge, this is the one when I saw it, I gotta have this one because I just love that. I would say on the computer, it looked like a brown shade. So that caught my eye. Let's see here. Comes in the familiar velvet pouch. And there we go. As the cover of most all blushes are. And let's see this one. Oh, wow. That is pretty. That is a nice deep shade. Let me bring you in closer and we'll go from there. Let me swatch these for you. Feels smooth, and there is that blush. That's a pretty, like a red terracotta shade. Let me swatch it on my hand. And there is Bron Rouge. And of course, these brushes cost $45. So I have two different brushes that I'm gonna use for each shade, and I try to find similar brushes. So for the Bron Rouge, I'm gonna put it on this side, and I'm gonna use the Sonia G Cheek Classic Brush, or the Classic Cheek Brush. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead. Right, and let's apply. That's not as deep as I thought it would be. Let me add a little bit more. Sorry, I had the mirror over here on this side and I didn't have it uh, turned the right way. <laughs> wow, actually I like this one. This is pretty, I like this shade. And it shows up on my skin tone too. Okay, don't need to go a little crazy here with the blush. Let me just blend that out. And by the way, I am using the foundation by the Chanel, the Sublimage foundation. Love that foundation. I did a review on that and I'll link it down below. I like this one, I like Grand Rouge. Now let's try 602 Rose Rubon. Or is it Rose Rubin? Rubon? I don't know, I just wanna speak French. Fluent French, beautiful French. Again, with the classic velvet case. Okay, this is a pink one. Oops, here we go. So let's swatch this one. So here is Rose Rubon. So you can see it's a little bit more pinker than Brown Rouge. And just swatching it on my hand, it just glides very nicely. And the brush I'm gonna use for this one is by Refer, the number 19. Let me move my mirror so I can be a little, little bit more in camera there. Okay, this is a pretty pink. It's kind of subtle on my skin tone. It's kind of deceiving. In the pan, it looks a little bright, but on my cheek, it's very subtle. All right, what do you think? Let me fix my hair. <laughs> so Brown Rouge is a little bit more earthy, has a little bit more of a terracotta shade to it. Whereas Rose Rubin looks like a rose, like a pink rose. Yeah, this is nice. It's a nice springy blush there. What do you think? Let me add some Bron Rouge to my apples of my cheeks just to kind of even it out a little bit because I think I put a little bit too much here. I hope that doesn't look too funny. <laughs> but here is Bron Rouge and Rose Ruben. Ruben. They applied very nicely. It's not skipping or anything. The pigmentation is there. I believe that they are a matte finish. No, uh, 
sheen to it, no sparkles to it, which is not bad. I don't mind, I don't mind those kind of blushes. There are some days when I want a matte blush and there are some days where I want a sparkly blush. Let me compare Bron Rouge to my favorite blush, Alizane, I believe it's number 260. Now keep in mind my blush, Alizane, it looks kind of, you know, worn, but let's put it up against Bron Rouge. Let me swatch it next to Bron Rouge on my hand here. Okay, so Alizane is on top. As you can see, it, it is lighter. Bron Rouge has a little bit more of a deeper tone to it. And it is matte. You can see the sparkle here on Alizane. All right, let's see. There's another blush that I have. Let me see here. I think it's Evening Beige. Yes, number 340, Evening Beige. So let me compare that. All right, it's a little similar. This Bron Rouge is still deeper. And of course it's matte, and this one does have some glitter to it. Redo the swatches real quick, I kinda messed up. Just wanna take Rose Rubin off. And I'm also gonna build up the swatches. That way you can see it a little bit better. So the new one is in the middle, Bron Rouge. The top one is Alizane. And the bottom one is Evening Beige. So yeah, Bron Rouge is matte, and the other two have a little sheen to it. I would say that Alizane is more pink, and Evening Beige has a little bit more peach to it on my skin tone, but I like Bron Rouge. That's pretty. Now the closest one that I could find to Rose Ruban that I have is this one that I just picked up, but I can't find it anywhere right now. It's Rose Glacier. Yeah, it's not even close. So this one is Rose Glacier. Oops. And this is Rose Ruban. Let me go ahead and swatch those two anyway, since I've got them. I have to really keep building up these swatches. These are kind of light on me. All right, so the top one is the new one, Rose Ruben, and this is Rose Glacier. So I would say that Rose Ruben, I see a little bit of a purple tint to it, whereas this one's a little bit more peachy and has shimmer to it, whereas this one's a matte one. So here are the blushes that I have, some of the blushes that I have. And on my face, it's looking pretty good. Actually, I like them both. Well, all right, let me wipe these swatches off my hand and then we will play with the new Coco Rouge Blooms. Now let's go into the lipsticks and these are the Rouge Coco Bloom lipsticks. And actually the full name of it is the Hydrating Plumping Intense Shine Lip Color. This is a lipstick that combines long wearing intense color and a high shine finish with hydrating benefits. So here is the box that it comes in. Then here is the lipstick bullet. Has the silver belt in the middle and the top is clear. Now I do have a Rouge Coco Flash and this one has a gold belt with the gold top. So here they are. So that's good. You can kind of tell the difference between these two just by looking at it. So I picked up five of them and these cost $40 each. And let's see what this one is. It's number 114. Ooh, that's a pretty color. So that is what the lipstick looks like. Ooh, that's nice. So again, this is number 114, Glow. It kind of feels weird not having my makeup consultant here, but we'll just have to make do. Let me go ahead and apply this on. Oh wow, that came on very nice. Of course I messed up. <laughs> mm, very creamy. Oh, I love this color. All right, yeah, just one swipe on each side. Wow, I like this color. So 114 Glow, it's described as a chocolate beige. Okay, I like this shade. This is a really nice shade. I thought it'd be light, because it's 114 and there are 20 shades in this uh, new collection, but I like this one. I think it goes well with Bron Rouge blush. It can go well with this one too, with the Rose Rubin. I think I like it better with this blush. And they are very creamy. Now I don't see much of a like a gloss finish. I mean, it is shiny, but I don't see like sparkles to it. I'm gonna swatch these at the end because I do need to fluff up my hair and I don't want lipstick in the back of my hand as I'm fluffing up my hair. <laughs> but these are very creamy. Wow, I really like the pigmentation in this one. Now I don't feel any tingliness with the plumping feature in this lipstick, but Glow number 114, so far after one is my favorite. <laughs> Okay, this did come off easy, so I'm pretty sure these are not going to be lasting all day. Next one is 118 Radiant. Okay, this is like a mauve-y mauve tone. This is 118. Oh, this is a pretty mauve shade. 
This one will go well with uh, this blush. <laughs> 118 Radiant is described as a mauve rosewood. I can't get over how creamy they are. They sit very nicely on the lips. And I can see a little bit of a shine there. A little. <laughs> Next I have 130 Blossom. Ooh, that's a bright color. This is a nice coral shade there. Actually, I think it will go well with this blush. Maybe this blush too. This is a nice springy color. I like it. Yeah, now as I apply it, I can see the sheen. I think the more I rub my lips together, you see the shine, but not as shiny as it was when you apply it. And this is 130 Blossom, described as a juicy coral. Yeah, I can see that this is a juicy coral. It looks very juicy. Now 140 Alive. Ooh, we're going into the reds now. Look at that one. Oh, this one's nice. I can really see the sheen in this one. I like this one too. <laughs> oh gosh, if my makeup consultant was here, I think he would love all of these too. We still have one more left, but so far the four that I've tried, they are beautiful shades and they just feel very nice on my, my lips. Kind of like, I wouldn't say oily, but I can feel, feel the hydration in there. It's not greasy. That's the word I'm trying to say. It's not greasy. It just has a nice slip to it and I love this color too. 140 Alive is described as an intense, rusty red. And I think this one will look great with this blush. I think so. Now the last one that I have is number 144 Unexpected. Ooh, that's a deep color. So this is 144 Unexpected. That's all it took. Very pigmented. Another beautiful shade. Another beautiful shade. And I have to say that it's very hydrating on my lips. 144 Unexpected is described as a deep brown red. Okay, let me go ahead and swatch these on the back of my hand. And as I was swatching them on my hand, it does have like a like an oily slip to it. So it just glides on very nice. Let me make sure I got it the right order. Okay, so here's 114 Glow, 118 Radiant, 130 Blossom, 140 Alive, and 144 Unexpected. And looking at all my swatches, you can kind of see the shine there. And I believe I see it more with Blossom on my lips. And these are pretty. Another favorite product that I love from Chanel. And the blushes, I really do like the blushes. Even though they are a matte finish, they're very nice. I think I like more the Bron Rouge, just for my skin tone. And this one will be nice for spring and I do need to build it up. But it's a pretty shade nonetheless. I mean, it's a real pretty springy shade. Even when I was swatching it on my hand, I had to build it up like five, six, seven times. Whereas Bron Rouge, just two or three times. With the magic of editing, I'm gonna have to jump in here because this is a giveaway. And the reason why I had to jump in here after I finished the video is whenever I do a giveaway, I like to have the products in my hand first. And for some reason, the blushes and the lipstick came in early this morning and the products I'm gonna give away came in just now. So, so there'll be two winners and what I'm giving away are the Chanel blushes, Bron Rouge and Rose Rubin. There'll be a winner for this one and a winner for this one. I'm not gonna open these, so let me just refresh your memory here. This is Bron Rouge and this is Rose Rubin. Bron Rouge and Rose Rubin. So to enter into this giveaway, of course you need to be a subscriber and like this video. And also let me know which one you want to try to win for. If it's gonna be Bron Rouge, if you wanna to try to win this one, you write Bron Rouge in the comments down below. And if you wanna to try to win Rose Rubin, you write down Rose Rubin down below in the comments. And also, I'm going to try to set up another Instagram account because the one that I have now, it's more for I wouldn't say personal use, but I want another account on Instagram concentrating more on makeup and skincare. So I'll link that Instagram page down below. So if you don't mind, if y'all could just also hit that follow button, that'd be greatly appreciated. Only one entry per person with a comment, Bron Rouge or Rose Rubin. So again, be a subscriber and like this video and write down the comments below either Bron Rouge or Rose Rubin. So we'll go live now and it will end on April 5th at 11.59 Dallas time and I'll announce the winner in a video on April 6th. 
and I'll list all the rules and regulations down below for you guys. But yes, this is going to be a Chanel giveaway. I just love you all so much. Y'all are wonderful to me. And so this is just a little something to give back. And you know, I'm glad that the lipsticks came today and I'm glad the blushes came today. I mean, this worked out good. And I've had this lipstick on for about an hour now. And it looks like it's just a stain. I don't see any more of the shine though, but it feels very nice on the lips. Not uh, drying or tacky or anything like that. Well, all right, you guys, again, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this. And also write down if you want to try to win Braun Rouge or Rose. Rose Rubin down below. You all have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.